everyone, thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel today. I'm going to show you a dish that we actually serve at Xinjiao based on a product that I received from MultiX, which is a, a company based in Chile. And they sent me their new Arca line of salmon, which I will show you a filet that they sent me. Some really nice, big salmon filets. Ta-da! It still has a skin on. And it's their new line of Arca uh, line salmon. It's sustainable, 100% antibiotic free. And I've actually already cut off a piece, a smaller filet from that and skinned it. And I'm going to show you how to make a salmon crudo that we serve at my restaurant, Sinjiao. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce. The crudo sauce is very simple. What you're going to use in it, there's going to be orange, which we will cut here. I'm just gonna squeeze some into this bowl. I'm gonna want about two tablespoons and I'm gonna try to catch it with my hand to make sure I don't get any seeds in there. So first we've got orange juice for a little bit of sweetness and tartness. Then we're going to add some lemon juice. This one you're gonna use about tablespoon and a half. I'm gonna do the same technique where I'm gonna to try to strain the seeds out between my fingers. So I'm squeezing it over my hand. All right, so in here I've got orange juice and lemon juice so far. Then we're going to add about a tablespoon of soy sauce, about two and a half teaspoons of any kind of neutral cooking oil. So you don't want something with a ton of flavor, so no extra virgin olive oil, but you can use extra light olive oil. Here we, I'm using grapeseed oil. You can also add uh, some peppers in here too, like if you want it a little spicier, you can use like a Thai chili pepper or you can use serrano. If you wanna make it even sp spicier, then use additional peppers and leave the ribs and the seeds from inside the pepper in here, but I'm actually going to omit it today. So I will make sure that this is not that spicy. Okay, we also need some sherry vinegar and some ginger. So I've got here some sherry vinegar. You just need about a splash in there for some finesse. And then I've got a knob of fresh ginger here, which I will grate into the sauce. You're gonna need about half a tablespoon. Whisking the sauce together. And the more you let this sit, the flavors will combine together better. So I would make this sauce ahead of time if you want to, so you don't have to do everything right before you eat. I'll set this aside. Another thing that goes into the crudo will be fresh cucumber. So what you wanna do with the cucumber is actually thinly slice it. If you have a mandolin at home, it would be nice to use that too, so you can get some even thin slices of cucumber. Swap out my cutting board and cut some pieces of the salmon. So I tasted some of the salmon already ahead of this video. And I must say it tastes very clean. It's not fishy at all, which is nice. It's nice and mild. I've got my smaller salmon filet. It's already skinned. Now I'm gonna cut it into really thin pieces like sashimi style. All right, I've got my salmon pieces cut. I'm gonna move them to a little bowl so I can get everything out of the way for plating. All right, I move the cutting board out of the way. I'm just wiping everything down so I can plate. So pretty simple so far, right? I've got the salmon, got my cucumber slices, I've got some of my garnishes over here. And then this is the shallow bowl I will use to plate the salmon crudo. So here we go, let's start. 
I'm gonna plate in this shallow bowl and what I'm doing is I'm taking the cucumber slices and then placing them in an overlapping circle in the middle of the bowl. So at the end, you'll have a ring of cucumbers at the bottom of your shallow bowl. Put one more, tuck it under the first cucumber so it's kind of like scalloped potatoes, I would say. Next, I'm gonna put the salmon on top. So we've got our salmon pieces. John, behind the camera, what would you say is the color of the salmon? Uh, it's orange. Orange? Okay. And it doesn't smell fishy at all, which is nice because sometimes fish, when you're, especially when you're eating it raw, when it smells extra fishy, it can kind of be a turnoff. So I'm gonna put the salmon pieces on here and I'm layering them on top of the cucumber. I'm going around the circle of the cucumber and I'm just putting the salmon, the raw salmon on top. And it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just kind of layering them on top so that it adds texture to the plate. So you don't need vision to do this dish. I'm feeling around the bowl to see if it seems even. Think it needs more anywhere, John? I think it's good. Okay. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick from the fish. Okay, the next thing we're gonna garnish with is wasabi tobiko. What tobiko is, is flying fish roe. And this will add, it's flavored with some wasabi. I'm just gonna to top it a little bit around with the fish and this will add some saltiness and a little bit of popping texture as you eat it. And just kind of more good saltiness, brininess and fishiness like the ocean. So here's my crudo sauce. I'm gonna spoon some in the middle. Give it a stir. Lastly, we'll finish it with some finishing salt, black sesame seeds, and herbs. Everything just goes in a circle, but it doesn't have to be super neat. And there you have it, the salmon crudo that we make at Sin Chow using the Multi-X salmon. That's my quick and easy recipe for salmon crudo using the Multi-X salmon, the new Arca line. So try it out for yourself, the recipe is below. Enjoy.